Hi there everyone. Rather happy today and feel like a dog with two tails. The postman brought a little parcel in for me today. It actually arrived while I was putting that video up on the pen light uh, torches and that. I was very pleased to see that I got this item digital clock from a friend in Lithuania, uh, Martinas. I hope I've spe uh, pronounced his name right, uh, Martinas. Um, well pleased. Uh, this was advertised and I thought oh, I'd have that one. As you know I have put a, one up earlier on one of these with a plastic surrounds the thing common to them both is the fact they use tubes or valves. The um, they're called VFD. They're officially not a Nixie. A Nixie tube uses neon gas, but they often call these Nixie or Nixie type. But there we are. This is what the looks like sort of with it on. Each digit is a separate valve or tube. The one in the middle is a smaller tube and they're the same. Now the brilliance of them is all the same so I would think the valves or the tubes are possibly of the same age. I'm not taking it apart um, it's not difficult to take apart but I'm not going to at this stage um, I'm well pleased to actually get it and um, the other uh, centre sent it through beautifully packed it really was well packed and it arrived and I plugged it in and off we went now before I do things I'll show you how you would alter things or, or set it up at the back we've got some press switches this is a fuse very low current fuse this is your mains lead now being from Russia which this is it gives you the voltage designation 220 which is what they use and it's not V for volt, it's B. Don't ask me what the B stands for, but it's equivalent to our volt. So it's 220 volt. Underneath you've got a number as well. I'll turn this around so you can see it better. Should have turned it around at the start, shouldn't I? Oh well. Hope that little light helps. There's the fuse, that's like a bayonet fitting fuse. It uh, looks like it's probably a quarter of an amp, 0.25 amp. The next set of um, buttons I'll show you at the front. Now we move this and lo and behold you have space and connectors for a 9 volt battery and the reason to have this is to keep the unit powered up the lights will go out but the actual um, the actual clock part or the timing will remain on so if you unplug it from the mains the lights will go out obviously but it will still show the correct time so I'm going to have to pop down to my shop and pick up a, a little battery to go in there no problem there. I won't put that back, it's, um, I'll put it back later. Turning it to the front, let's show how we set it up. Now the first control simply resets it. So pressing the first control resets. Your next control does your minutes 
next control is the hour I think I'll find this will be a 24 hour job let's see what happens yep it's 24 hours being continental or Russian that is what's to be expected and finally you've got an orange press button press that you'd use that at night time to reduce the actual brilliance of the digits it's in a wooden case it looks like it might be made of teak I don't know um, it's in very very good condition and if the gentleman I bought it from is listening or or sees it on the thing many many thanks to him it's a very nice item um, it's perfect let's face it all right there was a little mark down there which is nothing it's been repaired now that's nice because um, I thought I'd have had to have repaired that but I didn't he's, he's, he's done it for for me so that's been repaired in the front you've got a little mark on the, on the glass well let's face it from the age I think it's 70s to 80s um, it's not doing too bad it's doing very well I've said before they are separate valves they plug in they're just like a valve and work more or less like a valve not exactly the same but there is a high voltage in there so never ever take it apart without it being unplugged because you might get as an unpleasant surprise this is the the indicator that is actually given it's actually alive and working because inside you've got various chips uh, resistors uh, capacitors and I have seen a picture of the insides of this and it looks brand new from what I could see it looked brand new it's not brand new but it looked brand new and um, I won't be taking it out now I'll leave it all together because it's all working okay I don't want to do any harm so that's what I'm going to do with that now it's going to stand in the front room in the place of honour it's going to be on the table next to my German uh, German phone I have to think then and um, also the the American lamp which have featured on some of my videos as well so I'm well pleased um, funny enough the gentleman I bought this from is also interested in vintage phones as well so I wait to see his other offerings mind you I've got to be a bit careful because I've spent a bit of money lately so um, I might have to wait a bit but anyhow it's it'll be worth looking at and uh, it'd be nice to see what he has got uh, these are good as well it might pay me to pick up some spare tubes there's four tubes there plus a small tube as far as I know I think they 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 just plug in like a normal uh, radio valve would but if not they'll have to be soldered in but at the moment nothing wrong with them and they're all the same brilliance so they've I would think they that would be the normal normal brightness of them my other digital clock like this but a little bit younger than this one they are a bit brighter but it's exactly the same idea the same tubes so I'm well pleased and Martinus many 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 thanks for sending me this I shall have a look at your other items that you have on offer and see what we can do um, as you know I collect phones as well well it's just looking through my stuff that I put up um, notice I do phones and quite a few things and um, I've still got lots of lots of bits and bobs to 
enter up and put it on YouTube. But I say the day's only so long, and um, these things take time. This will prob probably take ages to upload. I think it's called uploading. Yeah, I'll put it on my computer. And it gets sent to YouTube. Next thing I know, it's all nicely done. Anyhow, before I close down, let me show you the... Uh, I do like the original stuff. Now, I'm going to take the plug out. And also show you the original plug. Now, that would be original. And as far as I'm concerned, when you pick up stuff like this, to me, it is very, very good to have all the the original stuff the plugs it's got the original cord my other one of these the plastic one I was a bit disappointed well I say disappointed I wasn't really disappointed the lead had in fact been cut and um, they extended a lead to it so I thought well I'll put one of our plugs on the 13 amp I've got the extended bit of lead whichever needs to be used I can do that but this one's really good because the whole leads there they use a figure of eight type wire which I think you'll find almost illegal now I think you have to have to have, have stuff double insulated but I'm afraid I prefer to have this because it's the original it's the typical uh, continental type plug two pin it will probably not fit in the German Schuko, but on the normal two pin stuff it will go in. It naughtily fits in our stuff, which shouldn't really do that, but it, it does. Make sure if you do that, make sure all the stuff's fused. This unit has got a fuse in it, so um, you're on the safe side. But anyway, I thought I'd just mention that this is a hundred percent genuine and I'm well pleased to uh, to get it and I should be keeping my eyes open you never know someone might be uh, doing spare, spare tubes so it would be nice to have some spare tubes although the tubes on here are working fine and the tubes on the other ones working fine I've got another one that I'm going to put up it's not it's a, little, a smaller version of this. I don't think I put it up yet. It incorporates an alarm. It's on the bedside table upstairs, so um, I might take a, a quick picture of that and uh, put that in. Anyhow, once again for uh, watching this, any comments please make. Um, as I say, it's all all interesting. I don't know whether I mentioned it, but the little 9 volt battery is used, I'm sure I have mentioned it, to keep the actual time working once this is unplugged. You unplug it, the it, it goes dark like this, but as soon as you plug it back in again, the time has carried on and uh, it should show the time has just carried on as if it's still plugged in and that's maintained by the little 9 volt uh, battery. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Any comments please make. Please subscribe. Any ideas, always mention it. Um, as I say, I haven't looked inside this, but rest assured I have seen a picture of the innards and it's spotlessly cleaned. It really is. It looks like it was only made last week, but I know that it wasn't. It's been well looked after, and uh, it's a very nice item to have in the collection. Or Miguet's Museum, as, as I call it. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. Thank you.